The suffix or word edema, pronounced edema, refers to fluid accumulation or swelling. Some examples of medical terms with the word or suffix edema include pulmonary edema, which is fluid accumulation in the lungs, angioedema, which is swelling of the skin or mucosa, and phlebolymphedema, which is excess fluid in the blood and lymph vessels. The suffix taxes, and notice the spelling of the word, so you might guess what this means, refers to movement in response to stimuli. Some examples of words with the suffix taxis include chemotaxis, which is the movement toward chemicals, phototaxis, which is the movement toward light, and hydrotaxis, which is the movement toward water. The suffix lemma, pronounced lemma, refers to membrane. Some examples of words with the suffix lemma include sarcolemma, which is the skeletal muscle cell membrane, neurolemma, which is a nerve cell membrane, and oolemma, which is an oocyte or egg cell membrane. The suffix alga, pronounced alga, refers to apes and pain. <laughs> Some examples of medical terms with the suffix alga include arthralgia, which is joint pain, cephalgia, which is a headache, and myalgia, which is muscle pain. The suffix oma, pronounced oma, refers to tumor or abnormal growth. Some examples of medical terms with the suffix oma include adenoma, which is a tumor on a gland, lipoma, which is a fatty tumor usually below the skin, and neuroma, which is nerve tissue tumor. The suffix seal, pronounced seal, refers to protrusion, or hernia. Some examples of medical terms with the suffix seal include enteroseal, which is a hernia of the intestines, rectoseal, which is a protrusion of the rectum into the vagina, and cystoseal, which is a protrusion of the bladder into the vagina.
Thank you for watching our medical terminology video, Prefixes and Suffixes. If you enjoyed this video and learned from it, you'll like our other videos, so don't forget to click our logo in the bottom right corner or the subscribe button and click the bell to receive notifications for new videos.